Seven years ago, Iran struck a historic deal with the UN's five permanent Security Council members and Germany that saw Tehran's nuclear ambitions curbed in exchange for sanctions relief. Just three years later, then-U.S. President Donald Trump scrapped the deal and followed up with harsher sanctions. In response, Iran expanded its nuclear program, breaching most of the deal's restrictions. But after Joe Biden took office, talks accelerated to revive the 2015 deal. Negotiations began in Vienna last April between Iran, the UK, France, China, Russia and Germany, with the US taking part indirectly. And after months of deadlock, last week signaled some positive steps with the release of two British Iranians after years of detention. It comes to uh, Iran and uh, negotiations in Vienna. Uh, you've heard us say that there has been uh, significant progress. We remain close to uh, a possible deal. It's really down to a very small number of outstanding issues. Washington wants to reach an agreement soon. Price recently pointed out that Tehran's nuclear advancement means there is little time left. But other factors are also playing a role. Instability in global energy markets, triggered by the conflict in Ukraine, means that the West needs Iran's oil more than ever. The country sits on the world's fourth largest oil reserves. Iran's oil minister says that Tehran can reach its maximum production capacity in less than two months if a nuclear deal is reached, which could have a noticeable effect on global supplies and prices. But despite narrowing obstacles, many hurdles remain. Moscow said it received guarantees from Washington that sanctions would not be imposed on any of its trade with Iran once an agreement is signed. We've received written guarantees. They are included in the text of the agreement itself on the resumption of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action on the Iranian nuclear program. A deal seems closer now than it has been in years which could boost Iran's struggling economy and offer an alternative to sanctioned Russian energy. After years of failed diplomacy, the global energy crisis, together with the conflict in Ukraine, may be the opening that Iran was waiting for. But only time will tell if the negotiating powers will accept Iran's push for a more favorable deal on its terms. Hadi Al-Alawi, Straight Talk.